Let's play the high serve jumbo forehand style with Victoria vs. Kaito in a Tours 8 10 7 of Tennis Clash, a sports game published by Wildlife Studios. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel Gameplay365 and to turn on the bell if you like this video. Let's start the series of matches versus uh, Tommy Kanda, one of the best uh, players of Tennis Clash. One. I was a bit lucky he was uh, choosing the cyber and wire here. A very good string, of course, which allows him to uh, counter with precision the jumbo forehand of my Victoria, and which gives him a long catch ability, tier 2. Some critical, even if uh, he doesn't need it. He defends very well, and will take advantage of this string at the beginning of the match to lead very quickly 4-1 then 5-1 so the problem with this uh, Syrian wire is that it has no stamina shear and that's fortunately one of the weaknesses of the string which allows high serve big forehand players to come back because it depletes Kaito's stamina as you can see right now stamina level of uh, my opponent is really it's going down but well Tomikana is playing really well and that's very hard to score points versus him even with uh, a low stamina Kaito. Shortly after this match, well, we play again, and then he chose the match from Monty, and then, well, the result was completely different, of course, he was destroying me. That was a lucky match with the Siran wire as I have told in um, previous videos where I play with the high serve jumbo forehand style you should never lose hop actually even if your opponent is leading you can always come back okay let's play with sister Surab another excellent top player in tour 8 so here, he's not choosing a um, string having no stamina shear, but uh, the Joker Quartz. He doesn't have a Kaito with uh, high stats, but that's enough for him to fight because he's a very good baseliner first. And it's because uh, he knows how to anticipate and how to defend. to annoy my Victoria with his strokes and he has uh, very hard strokes so when he hits uh, well he can hit at uh, almost the full blue bar with a 65 or 64 hand stat it is almost equivalent to uh, 69 or 70 because uh, it's hit very powerfully so the uh, choker court is of course giving to my opponent the long catch here too which is very useful to return uh, hard strokes of uh, a high serve big forehand player but it has a stamina shield tier 1 only so Skato is going to have some problems with stamina as well by the end of the match yeah it was very hard so of course the stamina of my Victoria is not high neither so I need to force this Kaito to trigger long catch very often to force him to drain stamina Yeah, it was very hard for both players at the end of the match.
because we <laughs> both needed stamina on the previous point Sorab was anticipating a bit too much and what an ace I made a very bad mistake here well we both lacked a lot of accuracy by the end match you know that with a poor stamina level that's not easy to have to hit accurate shots but well was lucky to pull off that return, desperate return by the end. When both players need stamina, well, all shots could be winners, so. It's about uh, being uh, not too ac inaccurate <laughs> by the end of the matches. Well, some natural energy cards. Not too bad for my volleyballs. Let's play versus Ibranra. Having a very high stats Kaito. I'm playing with antioxidants here. So he can afford to play with Cibra and Wire a bit more. I mean, he has uh, a higher stamina stat than Tommy Kanda in the first match. So this kind of build with a Kaito can uh, can afford a bit more to play with a Siren Wire. So the problem will be uh, the same actually than with Tommy Kanda during the uh, first match. This is obviously not the uh, problem of level. Abraham Rai is a very good player. It's uh, mainly a problem of string. Once again, you have noticed that they all lead very quickly, very easily. Second serve. But I can manage to score Two. points whenever their Kaito starts to, uh, to have a lower stamina level. But otherwise, well, they can lead and they can be in the position of winning the match by leading 5-1 uh, for Tomkana or 5-2 for Ibranbra very quickly. But the problem is here. No stamina shear, meaning an almost red stamina bar very, very early. So that means I don't have to panic much. I can wait patiently to force them to trigger a long catch. Oh yeah, but I, I was lucky here. I must admit I was lucky here. If he returned it in the court, that was finished. But of course, to come back sometimes, you, uh, you still need luck. And sometimes you can't come back at all, of course. Those are matches where I could come back, but most of the time, versus Kaito using Sibra and Wire, the comeback rate is rather high. I don't have it, but uh, it's rather high. Yeah, I chose not to say anything here. Okay. Let's play versus Fly and D, another top player. Very good counter puncher too. And who uses uh, choker quartz like Sorab in the second match? One love. And of course, I chose to attack. Yeah, should have left that ball out. One. Probably. Was very probably going out. See how the long catch allows uh, this Kaito to catch this big One. serve. And those on the line shots. But of course, 
Kato is going to pay the price for all those long catches. Okay, it was completely out. His stamina is going to be pretty low afterwards. After a while, of course, he can't keep long catching everything and stay at a uh, high level of stamina all the time, right? So what I need is to keep attacking to diversify my shots now and then to surprise him. But well, it's not always easy even if uh, I diversify. Very accurate, really. He's a very accurate hitter. Yet, only when Kaito is short in stamina, Victoria can score some points without too much difficulty. But uh, by the end of the match, when both characters are shot in stamina, each shot, I have told you already, each shot can be a winner, so... It's about staying accurate and mentally strong. You do not panic. Because you still have your occasion, and even more than Kaito, because you have the big serve. And of course, when both players have a low stamina, having a high serve for you is uh, obviously a weapon. A good one. Okay. Nothing interesting as cards. Let's play versus uh, high stats uh, Kaito here as well. Playing with Choco Cores. And using the Cyber and Wire. So I start with uh, Nero. So this Kato has a big forehand of 71. That's very good, of course, for Kato. And a backhand, which is really not too bad. 70. That's way enough to hit the powerful shots with a backhand. Plus, uh, this uh, counter puncher is hitting hard. So that's not easy at all to outflank him. And I need to start. I need to wait for his Kaito to have lower stamina. Only then, only then, my Victoria can use her, her jumbo forehand to outflank him. And with this uh, high serve jumbo forehand build, my backhand is not too bad, not too low. It's a 67, so I still can use it when I want, especially when Kaito is short in stamina, to outflank him definitely. As you can see, the wishing wiper mode is still very efficient to put the Kaito in a difficult position and then to outflank him definitely. Second serve. Yep, simple and efficient. Especially when uh, Kaito's stamina is shot. It works even better then. All right, the gladiator, cool. Now and then, 
get them from those classic bags. It's a bit surprising, but all right, this is a very high stat so Kaito as well, playing with antioxidants. And unlike the other Kaitos, he's choosing the Mastro Monte. So, of course, he's going to keep the stamina at a very good level. But then, he doesn't have long catch. Nor the forehand counter. So unless he can hit very hard strokes accurately, that will be a bit harder for him to take the lead to keep the initiative and it's rather Victoria who is going to take the initiative here on the serve he's going to keep the initiative after the serve and on Kaito's serve well you know that it's slow so if uh, she can return a big forehand and that's enough to, uh, to take the initiative. So, my victory has been able to lead quickly in this match, not being uh, annoyed by the forehand counter. This Maestro Monty has none. Not bothered by uh, any long catch. So the only problem is uh, is that this opponent, if this opponent succeeds in anticipating on shots correctly, that will be very hard. Given that he will hardly lose any stamina, but that was not the case. Skater suffered a bit on the high serve of Victoria and didn't, wasn't able to return correctly, accurately. All right. Let's finish the matches with a very high stats Kaito too, using carbon load instead of the antioxidants and playing with my strong Monty. So, same advantages and same disadvantages with the string versus high serve big forehand. This Kaito is going to keep his stamina pretty high through the match but he has no forehand counter no long catch so if he can anticipate my shots there's no big problem otherwise that will be a bit tricky even with high stamina by the end because it's uh, not so easy to catch all balls with a long catch. As you can see, he hits very hard. So, without an efficient serve or some good forehand strokes, that's not easy. So, I was a bit lucky there that he committed some unforced errors by this moment of the match, otherwise it would be tricky. And I started to hit the cross-court drop shots. Yep, that was a bit too too much there. Very nice, really, really nice backhand shot. And I respond with a on-the-line shot. And a cross court drop shot to finish. I needed to end rallies very fast, otherwise, if the match lasted longer, my Victoria would have uh, had some issues with the stamina. Okay, let's open this classic bag. Nothing special. And you are going to see the lineup that I was using with this high serve jumbo forehand style. Well, I hope you enjoy my Vic use the high serve jumbo forehand style versus Kaito in the Tour 8 and 7 of Tennis Clash, a sports game published by Wildlife Studios. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel Gameplay365 to stay tuned for new videos of Tennis Clash. Thank you a lot for your support.
and see you soon again. Play 365. Bye bye.